What is everyone? Welcome out to the PBA Season 1 Week 1 Battles. Uh, so, we have Caitlyn on the far side and Zombie on the closest side to, you know, where you're looking. Caitlyn has the team with the Charizard, Zombie has the team with the Grimmsnarl. There you go, alright. Far side is when I see the far side, you know, okay. Uh, let's go over these teams first. I do not have a Zombie's Poker Pace because he uh, deleted his team. I think it was my accident. I'm not 100% sure. I think he just forgot about the rule for a second. Uh, so I do not have his team, but I do have Caitlyn's team uh, with me right now. So uh, we can look at that right now. Uh, we're not going to go full in depth like, oh, this is ZVs, etc. But you can go over and look at it. Um, I'll just point out pointers, etc. during the match. Um, so, least of them. Hmm. What's that for? Scarf and Talion. See, we are seeing some very interesting things while we're looking at it like that. Don't know. We do have a layout for that. See? We can switch it over like that. Alright, there's going to be a few switches over. I don't really know. Uh, not all the teams. All the other teams, like, we do have the full ones. Other than Kieran and... Yeah, other than Kieran, uh, I believe. Uh, but that's because uh, I think he's like on Do Not Disturb right now on Discord. And uh, I could have waited for it, but I wanted to record the video now, so yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure in the Pickaxe video I voted for Zombie. I think I voted for a 2 0 or a 3 0. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see what goes down right here today. Bam. Okay, what these men sleep. Dragapult on the lead of Zombie. I did this one on the slow just to watch. Now, we didn't know that this is a Choice Scarf and Talion, so I am kind of interesting with this. See what they do. Uh, go for the Ice Beam. Okay, knew that because uh, it's Scarfed. Now it goes into the Seismitoad. I don't know if I should, like, in the future videos, make this not slow. It goes to the Knockoff now. Switches out into the Dragapult. Again. Maybe you think it can stall it out? I don't know why you want to take the Toxic though. Maybe. Does it get Energy Ball? Maybe it does. I don't know, but he just used it. Uh, don't click forfeit. Renamed from Zombie. Here now? So he renamed his name. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Light Scream by Reuniclus switches into So Valley now. Zero Aura goes for the knockoff. I don't know if you guys want me to go in depth or something like this. Defog now, taking away the rocks and the screen. No, it doesn't take away the screen. What now? Uh, don't know what's up with that. Does that just not take away screens anymore? Polis one now comes out. Him on Chan now comes out on that side. Uh, they don't have reflect up. Oh yeah, because they went to defog on their own side. That's why I'm weirdo. Uh, I guess the ice punch. Oh, was that a prediction? I think that was a prediction. Good prediction right there on the side of Caitlyn. Goes into a Uniclus, that makes sense. Goes for the Ice Punch. There's a big play, then I will pause it. Uh, goes for the Rapid Spin. Gets the speed up, which is very nice for that drag play, I believe. I don't, I'm not sure if you uh, speed at this moment, but if you go for another one, then you definitely will. And you do the Ice Punch with that. Okay, so you just go straight into there. I suppose Grim Snow would have took that on very nicely. Has a reflect up now. The tree scarf and Talion comes in. I'm gonna go with something to have dark balls. No, it just goes for the U turn. Now, I'm not sure at this moment in time that zombie knows that it's scarfed. This for the multi attack. Jesus, what's on my voice today? Another multi attack. This is the first match of the night. Uh, the first match that was uploaded the battle replays, etc. Uh, now it goes for the defog. Try and take away some stuff. Those rocks right there. Takes away Seismitoad. We're probably going to go for a Defog on the next Pokemon that comes in. That's my prediction. I don't know who's going to win this match, etc. Uh, I have never watched... I haven't watched these battles until this video. So, this is always going to be interesting. There's a few matches that I... I'm exciting for. Vesiklan versus Skinny. Biscuit, Kieran versus uh, Zard. Zard, right? No, Shine right. Nope. Nope. Cheez-Its. <laughs> Cheez-Its. Uh, play Rough. Oh, so they didn't drain Drain Punch? Do they have close combat? I think they have close combat. I think I saw that. Oh, no, they just switched out. Did he actually? Where's my mouse at? It did, um. 
My skin's gonna go like that for a second. Did they actually have close combat? Yes, they did. Why didn't they go for that? Um, unless they changed it up before I actually go into the match. Don't know. I mean, right there did cover the rocks, so that was a free. Why'd you go for a playhouse on the pilots, man? Why'd you not stay in there? Did you go for south rocks? I don't know. Uh, it's just interesting to to see. All right. Um, here we go. Let's get back to the match, I suppose. Uh, we've already been recording for five minutes, and it's turn at 22. Uh, it's probably because I'm slow, and this video is going to be a while, because, you know. We'll put on normal for now. Goes into Charizard, goes into Reflect. Fire Blast, that, if it was light screen, it would have done less, obviously. Hit one chain, now it comes in, goes into Savelli Dragon. Kofi Kingston, which is a WWE wrestler. Don't know why you named it that. Brick Break. Taking those reflects. That's actually very good prep on the side of Caitlyn right there. I'm expecting this match to go long, considering it's level turn 28 and only one or two Pokemon dead. Uh, one from each side, so I mean Zero could have just died right there. Zero is pretty low. The Under. Why is this named after WWE wrestlers? The Usos, The Undertaker, Mandy Rose. Why is this Otis? <laughs> I would have been about. Why is his name after WWE, guys? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because I'm a wrestling fan. Jesus, look at these guys on my screen! Stop making my screen so pixelated, you G-Max Pokemon! Okay, Thunderbolt, now two Pokemon from each side is gone. Four overall. Okay. So, uh, you don't know how to spell Finbella. Finbella actually has two ends. So, yeah. <laughs> I want to change that for your next battle, zombie. Poison jabs. Goes into Zero Aura now. Zero Aura goes to the knockoff. Knockoff the Eviolite. Now, I voted for Zombie to win this. I don't know if that's going to be true or not, obviously. Uh, if they go for Rapid Spin, oh. I was going to say, if they went for Rapid Spin, they might have just won the game there with him on Jan. The Uso. What is the Uso? I'm thinking that Choice Scarf uh, Italian could be pretty good right here. Um, this is very close, actually. I voted for Zombie, I believe, 2-0. So this is going to be interesting. Goes to Narkov now. Knocks off the Assault Vest. I don't know why you made that switch. Uh, you could have kept Drapion in the back. Okay. Mandy Rose now comes in. <laughs> Reuniclus goes to the Narkov. Knocks it off, Light Clay's gone, clicks the recover. So the next turn, knockoff would have done less. 39% just recovering now uh, on this. Two Plasma Swiss would have probably done enough right here, I think. Um, but it was Expert Bout, I believe this error was. Yeah, they did 43, and knockoff was only doing 37. So if you did Plasma Swiss before, but you can't really go against this uh, because, you know. It, it takes up 50% uh, recover, and it's doing less than 50%. And he just did a reflect. This is interesting. Okay. Um, I voted for a 2 over zombie. So I don't know if he's going to get a 1-0. Uh, that means, obviously, I was I made a false statement. But <laughs> I'm fine if I made a false statement. Uh, you can take out two of those. Plasma Swiss goes to Psychic. Either way, I think the the winner takes away a 1-0 right here. This is interesting. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I would expect, like, something big next week from Zombie after seeing this. Plasma's Fist gets the critical hit. It was just a matter of time. Caitlyn with the 2-0. I mean, two psychics earlier on that match. Uh, I think I think you if you would have less spammed reflect, possibly you would have had that. Uh, I have zero idea though. Um, yeah, okay. GG Caitlin with a two zero victory over. Uh, how much house was until you? Yeah, it was a hundred percent. I think that unless you had Cal Mind, which you did not. Uh, I think what was the move set of that until you? And Teleon didn't have Dark Pulse. It does get Dark Pulse. So it didn't have it. So maybe. I have zero idea. Um, so that's, that's something. Um, 
Okay, let's get into the next match of the Niners, boys. See you guys soon. Okay, everyone, the next match of the night is Alyssa versus Zard Ace. Uh, this is Alyssa's team, the Salazzle, the Dracovis, the Ductrio, the Bronzong, the Passimian, and the uh, Galarian Kafkrigus. So that's what we're going to call it. And then uh, Zard Ace's team is over here. He has Snorlax, Escadrill, sorry if I say he. It's just <laughs> me. Uh, Gigalith, Gudra, Vol Vol Via Plume, <laughs> and Sylveon. Okay, so we're going to switch between these two teams, because uh, this time we actually have both the teams. Uh, this is the battle right here. Let's get into it. The far side, we have Team Snom, and the close side, we have Zard Ace. You can see it by the names, all right? Um, so... I want to predict leads, actually. I predict that Snom is going to lead with the Bronzong, or the Galarian Carthagrigus, which is this man right here. You can't actually see my mouth, this man right here. Um, the last Pokemon over this side. Alright, the last right Pokemon. Okay, and I predict Zard Ace to lead Gigalith. Let's see what these guys actually do. He's on slow again, but uh, it's war noise. Sylveon! Versus something that I did predict to lead. Okay, Vileplume now comes in. Stealth Rocks on the end of Galerian Kafagurgus. Goes to Salazzle. Sleep Powder. Oh, that's pretty nice. Good play by Zard. I actually forgot who I predicted for this. I'm sorry. But, uh... <laughs> let's hope the person I predicted wins. Ooh, big Drain Punch from the side of Snum. Um, okay, then... <laughs> Another drain punch from Pissimian now. That Pissimian might be choice banded, I'm thinking. Um, I can actually look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can actually look to see what they are. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, here we go. Was that Pissimian choice banded? Yes, it was. I got that correct. Let's go. Aren't I so smart? <laughs> All right. Giga Drain onto the Salazzle, maybe trying to wear out those sleep turns. Um, being like, hey, Vileplume can't really do that much damage to me. Yeah, Salazzle just trying to get rid of those sleep turns. Snorlax is in there, probably has Earthquake. Uh, so you're going to be very wary of that. Goes in the Vileplume. Was that a, like some hardcore prediction? I don't know. Possibly. Goes with the U Ting, it's a big critical hit right there, but a Fact Spore putting two Pokemon to sleep. Yeah, 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 sleep claws, uh, but I didn't force it, yeah. He, he couldn't have predicted that, uh, so that, that, that counts, right? He said, I say we play it out and then let Tyler decide after. Yeah, that, that counts, you can put two Pokemon to sleep. As long as you're not putting two Pokemon to sleep using sleep powder. I paused the battle and paused my recording because I heard my sister. <laughs> Fire Blast. Do you not have, like, Hydro Pump or something? You know? A Dragon Move, maybe? Break through the stub, you got an Earthquake. Why didn't you do that earlier? I want to maybe predict the switch out. In a Bronze Zone. You know, maybe he'll Levitate, etc. I don't know what he was thinking. Alright. But right now, I feel like the. the Zar probably has the best momentum. I mean, there is still all oh, the immunity coming into play right there. Nice prep from uh, Zard Ace using immunity. Trying to get the burn with Flamethrower, I think. Didn't get it, though. Goes in the bronze on, thinking that you're only moved to hit it as, like, Earthquake and it has to levitate. She's trying to curse up on him. And body press! Wait, what? Iron of... No, we gotta look on this. We gotta look on this. I'm sorry. We gotta look at this. What was this, what was this Bronzong set? Alyssa, what was this? Rocky Helmet, Stealth Rocks, Body Press, Iron Head. Okay, I see you, Alyssa. I see you out here trying to do some Iron Defense friggin... Was that Iron Defense? Yeah, Iron Defense, Body Press. Knocking out the Snorlax. And now Vileplume trying to strength set, negative the attack set. Maybe he doesn't know that it 
body press only affects the defense there. So you got something that lowers the defense, you know? Don't know why he's doing the strength stat move, but okay. I mean, body press isn't doing above 50%. You just sack of your Google list, it's Jazzrocks. Trying to get a free switch into something? I don't know right now. Fire Blast. Is that Flash Flash? Uh, it's not Flash Flash. Uh, flame, whatever. Ooh, gooey. Which is not that great. Uh, because, you know, this, this is very slow Pokemon. <laughs> Overall, underfield, other than Ascadrill. Um, Hyper Voice, Body Presso, possibly Zard is gonna lose. I mean, he's still got freaking Draco Fish in the back. <laughs> so I'm thinking that Snam is probably gonna take away the winner, which I don't know if I predicted that or not. If I did, then round of applause to me. If I didn't, then uh, sad face to me. I think I might have nodded. I don't know. Possibly. Might have predicted. I have zero idea. It goes into Galarian Kai Gurgus. I'm cool into that because I don't know how to, how to say his real name. I uh, hope you guys like the layout that I have right here. Um, it's a very big layout, but I thought that it works without me just, like editing sprites and stuff like that. What the hell is happening downstairs in my room? I don't know what, but he's just sending up toxic spikes and stealth trucks and stuff like that. Probably try to take out the Sylveon next time it comes in with the toxic spikes. And uh, also when Escadrill comes in, it, you know, can't keep switching in because of stealth trucks. I am totally hoping that you guys cannot hear my sister downstairs trying to scare away the neighbor's cats. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm going to have to pause this again. I need to fucking move my computer, like, into my garage. That's, that's how far away I need to be from my family, alright? Let's resume this battle now. Okay. What's been happening? But Simeon now switches him. I I'll put on fast, just because I feel like uh, it's kind of inevitable uh, that Snom is going to win. Or maybe not. Fireplume just knocked this man out. I don't know. Doug Trio comes in, goes for the Earthquake, doesn't knock it out. You go for the strength step. Don't know why you went for Giga Drain. Do, no, no, don't know why you didn't go for Giga Drain. Uh, earthquake into a Sludge Bomb. Are you trying? To, are you trying to predict something or something? I don't know. Like you literally just used Giga Drain the other day. Oh, there we go. I was like, what are you doing? This is coming close. Both have three Pokemon left. Um, oh, you can't take the Sucker Spikes because the burned. I don't know why you set that up before. Uh, considering there's a Steel type Pokemon that's burned and an Escritol. That's a steel type that can't get toxic. I don't know. This is the heel belt. Well, that was a bad play. Now you're gonna get toxic next time you come in. <laughs> what were you thinking? I mean, now Viaplume isn't burned, but like, what were you thinking? Viaplume now comes in. I mean, maybe they think Viaplume is in one condition. Gets the wish off, leftovers. I th think. I don't know. Oh my god, there's still like a full HP Dracovish, I think. Like, just waiting there. It's like, hello, I can just give you any moment, you know? I might be banded, I don't know, but... I can kill you at any moment. Hyper Voice knocks out the bronze zone. Now, I don't know if he's gonna win. Because I think Dracovish can still just do that move, Vicious Rend, and start killing some Pokemon. Um, I mean, probably can't kill the Vile Plume. Ooh... This is really close. This is why I told you guys that we have some very good battles here. And this, this, these battles are going to be very close battles. Uh, especially week one. Where uh, some guys don't really know what other guys can do. Okay then, Zard Ace with the win. I lost hope at one moment in time when Pissimian started putting in work. And uh, the Galarian Kafagurgus started sitting up. But, Zard Ace with a victory. As well, okay, right now we have Caitlyn and Zard Ace with both 2-0 victories. I mean, I don't know if I predicted that. If I did, then ran of applause to me. If I didn't, then, uh, Tala, what the fuck were you thinking? I'm sorry, I'm not that PG. But, let's get in the next battle. Now, this is one of the battles that I was most excited for. Visiclan versus Skinny Biscuit. Visiclan on the close side, Skinny Biscuit on the far side. Alright, so I also do have these men's poker pace, so I will look over that right now. Well, have their teams right here with me. 
So, Visicon with the heavy duty boots and race focus. That is Cursula. Interesting, okay. Lumberry and the Crowsman Chapel, very double. Very interesting by Visicon, which is something that I normally see by Visicon either way. Um, now, Skinny Biscuit running Choice Band Trappage. Uh, leftovers, Shadow Tech. As you can see, like the. Ooh, Store Power Combine. The gist of this team is like to trap uh, Pokemon. Uh, and then kill them off, like Parasong and stuff like that. So I feel like. Did Visicon bring, like, something to, like, you know, Shid or something? No, he didn't. That's gonna be very interesting, uh, in this battle. Uh, let's get it. Alright, Cinderace lead against Durant. That's already bad. Ooh, Entrainment taken away, and I having Truant, but knocking out. Now, is that Truant staying for the entire battle? I, I, I don't know. If it doesn't, that's gonna be very bad. For the side of Vissy Clan, because you're going to have Truant that turn. Why did you not attack? He had Truant. You could have got a free attack off, or a free Calm Mind, or anything like that. Not sure. Now, since it's a Calm Mind, now this is Focus Sash. Uh, Cursula, so that's something that he doesn't know, obviously. Skinny Biscuit doesn't know. Goes for the Shadow Ball. Don't know if you're going to make the switch into Umbreon right now, you know? That would be a good play. There we go. Nice play by Skinny Biscuit. Goes for the Shadow Ball. Resisted damage. Only does 11%. It does get the special defense drop. That is pretty fire for Vesiclan. Corviknight comes in and predicting something like Body Press, you know. Toxic. Obviously immune. Try to toxic the Cursula. Okay. Goes for the U turn. Not trying to set up in the Body Press just yet. Goes for Tisserina. Maybe have a nice jump kick. Don't know if I saw that in that team order. Foul play doing a good amount of damage right there and goes for its own U-turn. So right now we're seeing a lot of momentum used by uh, this guy, by Vesiclan. You got U-turn on Corviknight, you got U-turn on Cinderace, and you got U-turn on the Tessarina. A lot of momentum. That's something very good against a, a, you know, a trapping team. Uh, bringing, bringing a lot of that. Boy, another person came in my fucking room. Where how the hell am I supposed to record these videos? Oh my gosh, okay, we're back to this again. Got the U turn. This past room we're like talking about, oh, it has lots of momentum and stuff like that. Alright, I had to go back one turn because, you know, we don't want to keep skipping. Alright, there we go. Got the G Max up. Don't know what they went for right here. The Max Knuckle. Okay. Down to 10% on your Umbreon. I'm pretty sure I predicted Skinny Biscuit to win this. Because he's my friend, and also I feel like I, I, I want to put impact, you know. I want I want to I want to I want to believe in the strategies of trapping his opponents. All right, Max Butter Butter Flutterby. What now? I don't know. Uh, but I Knight's now plus one attack and Max Knuckling, so I'm kind of scared for this Umbreon. You know, wish. Don't know what you can wish this to. Uh, Gothitelle. Most likely. Unless you're... Okay, you're just healing up yourself. Body press. Yeah, that was... I mean, actually, plus two attack doesn't affect me because it only affects the defense stat. So that's interesting. Say that only affects the... Attack stat. Uh, defense stat. If it affects the attack stat, then that would have definitely done way more. Uh, Volt switch now. By the Rotom. Now this is interesting. There's one Pokemon dead by Durant, but like he wanted it to die, to make the Cinderace's ability true one. So okay, that's 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 something. Queenly Majesty coming in a place right there. I bet Skinny Biscuit forgot about that. And uh, now Skinny is in a bad position. I thought his strides were gonna work. <laughs> thought his Trick Room strategies were gonna work. Uh, I wish they can still, because if they bring some Gothitelle, then like Curse lose their counter, and you know that Shadow Ball. So if you get more Calm Minds up, then you can probably live the hits. And also, if your if your Umbreon is still alive at that moment, Double is now just trying to body press your entire team. So that's a bad thing, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, that its defense stat is now plus four. 
Is double really gonna? Oh, it baton passed. Yep, that's that's a thing. That's a thing that I allowed in this league. <laughs> that that is a thing, and I think you might want to know if a body press is actually Photon Geyser. Dragon Dance baton passing. Oh, paralyzation that happened in my uh, past GPL match that you guys haven't seen yet. That you guys haven't seen yet, but you will soon. Uh, more dragon dances. Thunderbolt again. That lumberry coming to play before. <laughs> that was pretty big. Axes, I bet this man wasn't making anything coming through. No paralyzations, none toxicants. Alright, I'm gonna put this on normal speed now because we're at a moment in the game we're not going that in. Axes are knocking out the Gotha Tower right here. Another Axes are knocking out the Rotom Mo. The Lapras finally coming in. Its name is Sang. G Maxes, Photon Geysers. Now, Max Geyser. So finally knocking out a Pokemon. Not a 6 0 though. You know, not a 6 0 by Visicon, but still in a very good position is Visicon. Oh, and a critical hit setting up on a Aurora Veil. This is not over, Skinny Biscuit says. This is not over just yet. Covenite is dead as well. He's just trying to live it as long as this man can. Surprised his arena didn't come in right there. I mean, you know, maybe not killed. I don't know. Hydro Pump doing a ton of damage right now. Another Shadow Ball not knocking it out. Boy, Skinny is like, you are not killing me. All right. This comes in now. Ice Shard, Queenly Majesty. Boy, you forgot about it again. Oh my god. I mean, if you had Protect in your Lapras, that would have been huge. You might have won the game right there if you'd Protect on your Lapras. We see Surfnave say GG in the chat, but it's Surfnave. But it's gonna eat again. High Jump Kick misses! And a foul play KO's with a crit. Now the luck. Bye, Skinny Biscuit. Goes for the U-turn. Double comes back in. Goes for the wish. Double substitutes. And I'm predicting, like, cutting guard body press right here from uh, Double. Jesus, the luck of Skinny is still like, boy, you ain't getting a 5 or a 4 etc. If it's another 2 -0, I'm going to be pretty ecstatic because, like, then it's... Three two O's in a row. That's pretty crazy. So you just let him get the defense? I don't know what his plans are. I mean, the more wishes, then more chance of, you know, the HP being high. Substitute again, but he is toxic if foul play goes through there. Back up to max HP, double dice. Tis Arena now comes in. U turn doesn't kill. Why are you not going for high jump kick? He's scared he's gonna miss. And Skinny Biscuit actually gets the win. I believe it was by luck, though. I don't know. But, I mean, a game is a game. Pokemon is a Pokemon. Fair play didn't do shit. <laughs> no, it did not. Um, Yeah, Toxic in the double. Just took that man out. I did predict Skinny Biscuit to win. I think it, I predicted another... Uh, did I predict another? I think I predicted one out. I think I did. If I did, I'm gonna be crazy. Uh, no, I think I actually put it to her, because I was like, How, what, if, what if his Pokemon gonna be? What what two of his Pokemon are both gonna be alive at the same time? Um, I don't know what I predicted, but I predicted Skinny Biscuit to win, so we got that right. Uh, okay, so uh, that was a very interesting match, I'm, like I said before. Very close. Uh, pretty much luck. Uh, I think luck was the thing that, like, saved him, kind of. Saved Skinny Biscuit still. Uh, but I think he still could have won either way. Uh, because forgetting about the, uh, Queenly Majesty was pretty big on the, um... What was it? Queenly Majesty on the, uh, first impression that it was. It was. Uh, so maybe you wouldn't have brain trap inch at all if you thought that was still a thing. Uh... Where was your luck? I totally forgot where it was at. But, he did have luck. Alright. So. But still. 1-0 by Skinny Miskin. Nice job, Skinny. Let's get into the next match. The next match. Okay, so this match is Shine Sprite versus Surfernape. 
Uh, again, I totally forgot who I predicted to win. I always forget who I predicted to win. I think I predicted Shine Sprite, but I'm not 100% sure. But I think I did. Uh, let's actually look over the teams they bring. The GMAX Expert, Valk, Fable. Okay, and then, uh, Surf and I'm gonna put you up here. Uh, with the Kababri, Kababi Berry, with the, yeah, there are a few berries, eh? Hey? Yeah, Barberry Berry as well. Very interesting sets. Alright, let's get into it, actually. There we go, Chandelure leads. Uh, also, Gengar goes into Mandela straight away, actually. Uh, that could have been a Thunderbolt straight to the back. Would have been a nice Thunderbolt, obviously. Uh, now goes Rotom Fan, goes for a Roost. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, trying to, trying to phase out that Volt Switch, possibly. Uh, but it is still going to be super effective. Uh, Ninjask now comes in. I did actually want to, like, in the Pickons video, I was like, please bring, like, some sort of, you know, speed set to, like, Baton Pass. That is bad. You can't get speed and Baton Pass. Uh, I believe that's what the thing was. I totally forgot my own freaking baton pass rules. <laughs> but, I think, I think speed plus sub plus an attack was bad. Yeah. So you can sub and baton pass. Alright. With, with, with speed. I believe. Check the rules if I'm wrong. Alright, don't don't take it by my own word. Check the rules. <laughs> Alright. If you're a player, check the rules. Or else I won't call you out on it. Alright. And the and the admins won't. But time pass. Got plus three speed. I would have actually predicted you to go like go late with that plus three three. That plus three speed. Because that means you can outspeed Terrakion, right? Yeah. Um I mean unless you didn't have like something for a chandelure. Don't know. Um, obviously, I can check, but I don't want to stop the battle yet. <laughs> Going for ear slashes on the side. That, uh, what was that? Okay, I don't, I don't know, but Iron Head. Uh, now, Mana Buzz is coming in. Ear slash to Mana Buzz. Uh, Gengar now comes in. Shiny Gengar. Brave Bird. That's a lot of damage. And Curious Body. That's a lot of damage on the Gengar, though. Thunderbolt didn't knock it out, and another Brave Bird or Knock a Fool knocked that out. There we go, Gingras out. The biggest threat that I thought was to this team is now gone. And that's big. Flygon now in goes to the Trick. Trick's the Choice Scarf into its own Choice Scarf. Okay, then. <laughs> Spider Man Lee. Hatterini now comes in. Misses the Fire Blast, though, by Shine Sprite. And now hits the second one and does a ton of damage to Bellatrix, who is, I believe, nicknamed... Jesus, look at that GMX on my screen. Uh, nicknamed after the Harry Potter villain girl. Alright, Spook Candles. Okay, then Hearth Power. The Shookaberry, though. Shadow Ball now. Doing some offensive damage right there. Mandibus, you guys are seeing some great battles. Battlers right now. Alright, Volt Switch, actually, immunities, and now it goes into the Torkoal, I don't know why he has Earthquake, but okay, Dragon Claw, unless he didn't have Earthquake, and okay, no, you, and you've seen his full moveset, but he didn't, uh, Venusaur now comes in, a Scavalera comes in, Solar Beam, if you had Weather Ball on your Venusaur, you're an MVP, yes, MVP, this man, bring Weather Ball, I like that. Weather Bull knocking out that. Well, now it's getting interesting. Terrakion now coming in. Bam, that's dead. Going to this match as well. I thought Terrakion and Gengar were like the biggest threat from each team. Ooh, substitute. And lowering the defense stat even though it didn't break through the sub. But that is, that is big. Stone Age. Protect. Bringing more speed up. I'm predicting you to go Glade right here. Yeah, we go under sub and Gallade resisted damage, but still went through the sub. Goes for the sword stance now. Gallade could sweep right here if you didn't have any priority move. Corpse combat is knocking that man out, unless that is scarfed Chandelure, which it is not. As we saw Shookaberry earlier in the night, spamming close combat now. 
And Zen Headbutt knocks out the Chandelure and a 3-0 from Shine Sprite. Again, I don't know who the hell I voted on this, but... <laughs> Yeah, this is interesting. Okay, another an, another close victory. It was a 3-0 win. Uh, roll time was low, uh, and Jask was, like, above high house. Very good plays by Shine Sprite, even though his team was, like, not the best team in the world, but, you know, after drafting. Uh, and even going there, that's, like, roll time, Venusaur, Torkoal, Ninjask. Glade even is a low tier Pokemon, so I'm happy they won. You know, um, Surf Knight, you played great. I feel like if you bring maybe you know that scarfed freaking Chandelure, you would have done better. But you did great. All right. Uh, so um, hopefully uh, these guys do good next week. All right, let's go on to the next match. Okay, start all the other coaches. Sort of all the other coaches, but this match is probably the most one I was most excited for because I am Kieran's like friend, you know. Uh, <laughs> we're friends. Um, so I was really hoping for Kieran to win the match. I voted on him uh, because one, I thought hopefully he could win the game, um, and also because my friend. So, um, gamer, Kieran, before I watch this match. If you don't win, if you win, I mean, if you lose by a, a higher differential than the other coaches, then boy, you need to work on your skill. Uh, the other coaches only losing by 2-0 and a 3-0. Um, and the 3-0 only be by doing, uh, like, you know, a freaking substitute the Tom Bass. Swords Dance Pokemon. So, yeah, Karen, please play good. <laughs> please, Karen, come on. Since you were, like, one of the coaches that I invited, alright, um, Meow Stick lead against the Gengar, goes in a bit sharp, Light Screen is up, goes to Corviknight, good plays right there, goes for the knockoff, that is bad, <laughs> that is, that is, that is bad, uh, Mirror Arm, reversing the Intimidate, nice prep by Kieran right there, bringing the Mirror Arm Reversing that Intimidate, that was very good. Uh, but you are a special Arcanine with Flamethrower. Goes to Mudsdale now, Stealth Rocks are up, which are nice for Arcanine, uh, but not the really the rest of the team. Bisharp now comes in, uh, eating up those kind of things, go for the Reflect, goes into Corviknight now, trying to maybe roost up against this, and possibly bulk up. Again, a Mirror Army that... Uh, thing goes for a big brave bird now. Goes in the meal stick. I I'm liking what Kieran is doing right now, but I mean, this is not normally what Kieran dubs, but I like what he's doing. He doesn't normally play defensively. Oh, what? Teleport. <laughs> okay then. I mean, we didn't ban that. We didn't ban that move, so you can use that. Goes for the stealth rocks now. You don't want that man sitting up on you because he does get body press. Watch out, right on. Smackdown. I, okay, maybe maybe think Corviknight was going to go in. Uh, still plus net defense stuff goes to the big earthquake. Where's the body press at? <laughs> An ice punch crit. Okay, nice. Nice. Intimidate now. Goes into the Corviknight. Goes to the rapid spin taking away of those rocks. And still leaving rocks on the side of the Gulvanite. I uh, goes for close combat. If you don't go for the roost now, Kieran. Okay, nice roost. I'm about to say, Kieran. <laughs> you let your Gulvanite die. That's, that's bad. Alright. Um, Defogging. Dragazolt now comes in. Uh, has to take a Toxic, though. If that was immunity as Snorlax, I would have probably told you to go there. Uh, misses an Earthquake. Oh, yeah, because I hustle. Oh, yeah, I was like, I think I said 100% accuracy move, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, but it was because of the hustle. Negative is the accuracy and plus is the attack stat. Fake out hit, now teleports it a bit sharp. Which isn't that like a, a straight switch, except you're doing, I don't know what you're doing. Like a slow switch? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Plus two, 
goes into the G Max and relax that has leftovers. Max Quake lives on one HP on the Bishop though. But he lives it because he's G Max and G Max repellish. Re re I don't know. Now G Max Gengar. Doing its work right there. Jesus, okay. Jesus. Okay then. Yeah, yeah, he did what I thought. He he did what I thought he was gonna do. But it didn't KO. The the scarf uh scarf psychic. You should have uh bring Slash Shock instead, because that would have done the physical defense. Uh and Gengar's physical defense is check shit. Oh, Bolt Beak is no longer in effect, and now you have Intimidate. Two Intimidators. And you're struggling because you're, I think you're banded or scarfed. And GG. Okay, um. I mean, I think the only bad thing is that uh, he could have, he could have made a comeback if that, um, Reflect was up when uh, Snorlax was in. Um, and also if he brings Psyshock instead of Psychic on the Gardevoir. Because uh, that would have made a big play, you know, knocking out the Gengar without having to use the, uh, the Dragon's Out. Also, that means, uh, keeping the Bolt Beak not, uh, cast body. Uh, obviously, because Psyshock attacks the physical defense. Um, I think Kieran played fine. I think it was just under. Uh, there was too much offense in, in G Max Gengar that Kieran couldn't, uh, at least he forgot about Psyshock, I think. Um, that he couldn't fully, uh, it was too much offense making Gengar that wasn't allowing Kirim to really do what he wanted to do, um, especially after Snorlax went down, um, and he didn't really have a big counter to Bisharp, which was a bad thing, uh, but yeah, I think, I think, I think both players have played good, so right now we have two, two O's and two three O's. Okay, let's go to the next match. Is there a next match? I think there is. Actually, there isn't. Okay, so that's all the battles for today. Uh, for the first week of the PBA, I believe this is it. Okay, actually, this is the last match, but Cheez-Its wanted me to calc something. So I'm going to calc that on the, the, you know, on this, on live. Uh, so I'm gonna count that here. Um, that is this crit from the Max Gengar to the Gardevoir. Uh, not that one. That one is fine. Uh, but he didn't know if he counted. So, Psychic. Yeet. I mean, if it was Psychic, it would have killed you anyways, but okay. Psychic. Yeet. Max Terra. Critical hit, as you see. So, he wanted me to go into the damage calculator. And to, uh, Jesus Christ, that is big. You can now see my layout. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this up. But, like, I don't even know, zero. Now you can see the body time. No, that's a bad. I suppose you can see it around this, along with some of the layout. Um, we'll just X that off. Yeah, you can see it through my layout. Yeet. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You can see it through my layout. I know it looks very bad, but... I don't know what I'm doing. This is crazy. Okay, here. You can see it like this. Alright. This is especially just for Cheez-Its. Alright, where's Kieran's team? Kieran, where's your team at? Kieran, where's your team at? Oh, I don't have Kieran's team. Okay, then. I don't know what Kieran's set was. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I don't know what Kieran's team is, so I can't do the calc. Uh, well, at this moment in time, I don't know what Kieran's team is. So, I can't do the calc. I don't know how much, like, HP and special defensive it was, but I'm guessing it wasn't because it looks like each scarf to outspeed you. So, I don't know. Um, Sasha would have killed you anyways. Straight out. Uh, so that crit wouldn't have mattered at that moment, but I think it might have right here. Um, so yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, okay. So, uh, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button, and also, subscribe for more YouTube videos coming your way. Peace out, guys. Hope you enjoyed week one of the PBA, and hopefully, I'll see you guys next week for the Pickums video.